guys, welcome back. I am finally sitting down to film my September and October favorites. I'm so sorry it's taken so long. Um, as you guys know, I did have surgery for my endometriosis in September. My first surgery I did bounce back pretty quickly from. I assumed I was going to bounce back quick enough from the second one. Oh boy, was I wrong. I was not in a good place, mentally, physically. So what I've done instead is I've taken my September and my October favorites and I've made one video with both of them. It is a little bit bigger. I know that my favorites videos and posts are usually quite long. I usually, and I usually include quite a lot of products, but I love a lot of things during the month. I'm not going to just choose five. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be a little more extensive. A couple of the products are, are still a little bit new to me. A couple of them are older. I really hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna start off with the two non-beauty favorites. Um, two weeks ago, my mom and I popped into the Quick Spa in Hillcrest, which is quite near where we live, and I found the most adorable Christmas socks. Um, we got a pair for my sister. I can't remember what they were. They're little Santas with a funny little slogan on, and I got the super cute reindeer socks. These were 50 Rand and totally worth it. I even have a pair of uh, Christmas boxer shorts from Cotton On that have uh, little Christmas puddings on, so I can wear them with that. The other non-beauty favorite is actually kind of still beauty. Um, I've not been good this week at taking it. It is my mother kind collagen powder from Vitagirl. Um, I took it religiously for a week and then I got a really bad secondary infection. Um, it was a bit of a bladder infection, a bit of an issue with one of my ovaries. I stopped taking all supplements and then I completely forgot to take it for a couple of weeks. Um, I did go back on it and then this week I've also not been 100% so I've been very bad. I'm shocking with supplements. I am trying to get better. Um, I found, I noticed when I took this at least once a day every single day and I was having two and a half heaped teaspoons of it in my coffee in the morning my knees have been giving me such an enormous problem I've had surgery on one knee before yes I sound like an absolute joyride um, I've had surgery on one knee and I've had similar problems with my kneecap dislocating on the other um, and my knees were at like my knees were kind of creaky every time I walked upstairs it would go <coughs> it was unpleasant it was painful the main reason why I wanted to take a good collagen supplement is I was actually um, using a collagen whey powder at the beginning of the year when I got into my gym and you must know the difference in my knees. Like I had no issue running on the treadmill on incline because of the collagen. It was the only different thing I'd added into my routine and it really worked. But I also know that collagen helps to heal your gut, it helps with your skin and your hair and your nails, you know, all that anti-aging. Um, I've only got about a week's worth, if that, left in here, and I am going to finish it. And when I'm finished it, I will be repurchasing it. Um, not only have I noticed a difference in my digestion when I was taking this religiously, my digestion was much better, my knees were, uh, the creaking and <coughs> sounds in my knees had started to slow down, and it almost just felt smoother as I walked. Uh, my skin felt clearer, my skin felt smoother, it was more hydrated. Just in general, I felt better. What I really liked about this brand, the Mother Kind Collagen, it has zero taste. It has zero smell. And for that, I will continue to repurchase this brand. Fantastic. That is my non-beauty. Let me get into my body care. I have one of the new Nivea deodorants. This is the Nivea Black and White Invisible Silky Smooth Quick Dry. Use after shaving, formulated with skin conditioners. I do not use a deodorant unless it is the black and white invisible. I wear very little white clothing, but I don't like how the deodorant will stain your white clothing. However, I wear a lot of black clothing. My whole family, immediate extended in-laws, all know how much black clothing I wear. I love to wear black. I love to dress it up with fancy makeup and some, you know, fun sparkly, although these are not colorful. It's not proving my point well, but I like to jazz up nice black outfit with colorful earrings, colorful shoes, colorful makeup. That's my jam. Normal deodorant leaves black clothing or dark clothing with white marks on. I do enjoy the regular Nivea one, although I never found it was quite soothing enough under my arms after shaving. This I received in the goodie bag from the Ruby Box Rise Up event. And guys, it is amazing. 
It is so soothing, so moisturizing under the arms. And the smell, it smells incredible. My other body favorite is basically me being reunited with a long lost love. I used to obsessively self tan. I used to be one of those girls that lay in the sun for hours and hours and hours until I was brown. Um, when I realized that was so bad for me, basically when I started getting pigmentation around my eyes because I was on the pill, I started self tanning. But I had to go like dark, dark, dark. Uh, they've got their Fake Bake Flawless and then Fake Bake Flawless Darker. I used to use those. Loved them. Especially the darker. Now, as you guys know, I'm a bit of a fair child. I don't really self-tan. As it is, I've self-tanned with this and it's now darker than one of my slightly on the darker side foundations. So I do actually need to stick with my darkest foundation when using this. Um, but why I got this is I love these self tanners where you can leave it on for an hour for a light tan, two hours for a medium tan, three hours for a dark tan. I got this and the first time I used it, I haven't used it twice so far, I left it on for three hours forgetting how dark fake bake goes. Wowzers guys, I was dark. Um, this last time I intended to just leave it on for an hour because that's enough for me. It gives me enough of a golden brown tan that I feel confident and bronzed without looking super super tan because it's just not what I enjoy these days. I ended up leaving it on for an hour and a half and as it is I mean I'm feeling very very it doesn't look it on this camera that but I'm looking a lot more bronzed. This just gives me a better tan, it gives me a better shade of tan, I prefer an olive tan, I don't like an orange one, and this lasts. The last time when I applied this, for, for three hours, it lasted me a week and a half, almost two weeks, and I was having to scrub it off. So if you guys like yourself tan, you like something that's going to work, it's going to go dark, and it's going to last, Fake Bake is the way to go, baby. I'm going to do some skincare now, I've only got two skincare items, which is a first. Uh, usually I power in 500 different skincare items. Um, the first one I used excessively while I was actually off after my surgery and I've used it on and off ever since whenever my skin feels very dull. It is the NUX Creme Prodigies Boost Multi Correction Silky Cream. It's an amazing day cream. Um, it is a little bit more moisturizing than I usually go for because I have combo skin. Um, I do feel like if I'm having a very oily day, or if it's a very hot day, it is a little bit too moisturizing for me, but the smell, oh, it smells incredible. It's got the most beautiful floral scent to it. Um, but what I like about this moisturizer is it is still quite light, yet it really, really does hydrate your skin, but it makes your skin feel pepped up. My face felt a lot softer, a lot more hydrated, and it just felt energized, pepped up, and radiant. And I really, really enjoy this. Um, I do use it two to three times a week still, um, but I can already tell you that's not gonna last me another month, actually. And then the other skincare favorite, I have only been using for a month. I want to use it for a couple more months before I post a full review. It is the new advanced formula of the Optify Complexion Control. This is a retinal serum that helps even out your skin tone, leaving it smoother, more even toned, more radiant. Um, it's very, very good for pigmentation. And even with this foundation on, let's see if you can see. Let's see how good this foundation is. I have pigmentation patches here. I have pigmentation here, all along here. So it almost looks like I have rings under my eyes. That is my hormonal pigmentation. I have post-inflammatory pigmentation marks here from when I was in high school and I had terrible acne. And then when I do get a pimple, like I had a pimple here a week and a half ago, that mark has not left. And I get tiny little red scars. So I really do suffer with pigmentation, both the hormonal ones and the post-inflammatory pigmentation. And I know this is gonna do the job. Um, I love the texture of this. I did not try the original one. I know that Shan Faree did. I think she may have posted about it. Um, but this new advanced formula, I'm very excited to see further progress. Um, when I went for my Optify facial last week, was it last week already? 
When I went for my Optify Facial last week, I actually asked Shanna at MEG if she could see any difference in my pigmentation. I'd been using it for about four weeks then. She said it definitely looked darker. It had actually started to look a little bit lighter at first, and then it started getting darker and darker. Um, so under here, that's why my foundations and my concealers are not covering it up as efficiently at the moment, because all of that pigmentation is rising to the surface. So. I really want to try and carry on using this until at least the end of November, if not later, before I give you guys a full update. But I love how my skin feels the morning after I've used it. It's never irritated, it's never flaky, it never feels like anything is compromised. It just feels soft and smooth and I'm hoping it can get rid of that pigmentation. I love me some Optify. Time for some makeup. And there are a lot of makeup products, guys. It's been a, a big makeup month. I have two kind of skin tints, um, serum, primer type vibes. I have the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur Skin Tone Optimizer in the shade Latte Light. And then I have the By Terry Brightening CC Serum Radiance Elixir for hydration, radiance and color correction in the shade Sunny Flash. Now both of these products serve as a primer, both hydrate, both will give your skin a bit of a tint, blurring any imperfections, um, however to me they are both very very different skin types. Um, the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur, absolutely amazing, a little bit richer than I would usually go for, it's quite a nourishing product, um, it says HD Primer and Skin Finish. It has a beautiful, beautiful kind of glowy tint to it. It just evens out any uneven skin tone. Um, it, you're still gonna see any pigmentation. You're still gonna see freckles. You're still gonna see the odd spot, but it does help to optically blur everything with the kind of shimmer in it. It works beautifully under foundation as a primer, beautifully. I do find, like I said, it is a little bit richer. So if you've got very, very dry skin, you will love this. Your skin will just lap it up and your foundation will look insanely good. I only reach for it on days when I feel like my skin is feeling dry and tight or if I just want to boost that extra, extra glow, if I'm going to use a very matte foundation, that kind of thing. Um, whereas the Biteri CC Serum, it's a lot runnier. It also looks a lot darker. However, not even a full pump needed for your entire face. And once you've blended it in, yeah, sure, your skin will definitely look darker. Um, oh, it also smells delicious. Once you've blended it in, you've just kind of blurred all of those imperfections. It's super hydrating. It, feel, it almost feels just like a hydrating serum. Like it says, CC serum. It really gives your skin an amazing glow. However, once it has sunk in, you don't feel any residue on your skin. It feels incredibly hydrating, but I don't feel any stickiness. I don't feel any greasiness. For me, with combo skin, especially going into summer where I'm not gonna need that extra nourishment, this is gonna be amazing on like a day-to-day -day basis. Whether I wear it on its own on the weekend if I'm not really gonna be wearing a lot of makeup or under any of my foundations. I've tried it under every single one of my foundations and it looks gorgeous. I feel, for me, as a combo skinned girl, that the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur, amazing for winter, by Terry, amazing for summer, can be used all year round as well. I just feel like I'm probably going to hang on to this one and use this more in winter or if my skin feels very dry and this I would use every single day. I just don't want to be wasteful because they're not cheap guys, they're both over a grand but trust me they are well well worth it. Those two primers, paired with the following foundation, are amazing. Both of them. Both of them work really, really well with a couple of my foundations. But with this, this is the Lancome Taint Adult Ultra Wear 24 Hour Wear and Comfort Retouch Free Foundation. This is my second bottle, the second bottle I've purchased. I will happily continue to purchase many, many more bottles. This is the closest thing to my Estee Lauder Double Wear I have ever, ever found. Sure, it is still a high-end foundation. It's not as expensive as Double Wear if you want to splurge for a high-end foundation, but Double Wear is just that little bit too much out of your pocket. I definitely recommend this. I just feel 
Double Wear is known because it's very matte. This is still a matte foundation, but it's not matte matte, if that makes sense. It's almost got like a demi matte satin finish. It just makes your skin look fresh. I used it with the Vita Liberata in winter. Beautiful. My skin looked gorgeous. It looked amazing. This one, this pairing though, with the Bar Terry. Every time I've gone to an event lately, I've worn this combo. And I've been happy. I have a full review of this on the blog. I will link that below for you guys. Was sent this by Glamour Cosmetics in October. It is the Mio 5 Points Eyeshadow Palette in Feminine Flame. As you can see, it's all of my favorite beautiful, beautiful warm shades. It has like a cranberry, a deep warm chocolate brown, a copper, a beautiful shade for your transition. And this can be used for highlighting the brow bone and also just setting the eyeshadow primer over the lid. I do have a full video of me actually using this and doing a tutorial with it for a beautiful kind of chocolate smoky eye with a cut crease with the copper shadow. I will link that for you guys below. And I have a discount code for everything on the Glamour website. 15% discount code of anything. You can buy this in the full bundle um, that I used in that, in that tutorial. Um, but you can buy anything off the Glamour website, including the bundles or individual products for 15% off with my discount code. I make nothing from it. It's just a spoil for you guys. Another of my Glamour spoils from the same kit, mind you. It's actually the Pierre Rene Lip Matic in the shade 08. It's the beautiful nude lip liner. But I'm actually wearing it all over my lips right now with a gloss that I'm going to mention next. Really, really, really nice. This applies so smoothly, so creamily. It is so soft. It blends like an absolute dream, but once it's set on your lips, it's waterproof and it doesn't budge. You can kiss anything and it will not come off. Over that, I actually have a gloss. If you can see, it's got a bit of shimmer to it. It's not glossy, glossy, like wet glossy. It's just got a kind of soft buttery sheen to it. And that is the Pixie and Chloe Morello collaboration. It is the lip icing in the shade Cake. I purchased this myself off of Cult Beauty. It is a beautiful kind of coppery. Yes, these guys smell good. Sorry from Glam House, my friend, said they smell like kind of lemon meringue pie. To me, these smell exactly like Terry's chocolate orange. Oh, I'm actually gonna put some more on. These lip glosses feel, they're not sticky at all. They feel like a moisturizing lip oil. Not sticky in the slightest, which sure, it's gonna mean that you're gonna to have to reapply. But I mean, if it's something that's this pretty, that smells this good, you don't mind reapplying it. It is a sheer lip gloss that has all these kind of copper gold pigments in over a nude lip liner or a nude lipstick or a nude liquid lippy. Beautiful, love this. I've actually been keeping this in my handbag a lot the last couple months. And then when I'm out and about and I've need to reapply something i just grab it and slick it on my lips so even on its own it looks really 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 pretty and then my final final product was a huge splurge i made a purchase on superbulous i've never owned a bobby brown lip product guys i feel that's quite shameful as a beauty blogger to not have owned one but i bought one of their luxe liquid lip velvet mattes and you guys know I love my reds. I love my red lipsticks, especially for evenings, for functions, for um, a Thursday because I feel like it and I don't feel like doing anything else. So I just slick on a red lip and especially at Christmas time. So I thought since it's going to be Christmas time, I've been wearing a lot of red lipstick. Let me splurge and really buy myself a nice one, a luxury one. It is the most insane red. Oh, it is just the most perfect tone of red lipstick. It is my ideal dream tone of a red lipstick. It goes on very, very liquidy, almost like an ink. And it dries down, not 100% matte. It doesn't feel chalky or dry or tight on your lips. It does have a slight tackiness to it. So it's not going to completely not transfer it is going to transfer a little bit but it's going to hold on long enough that you're probably not going to have to touch it up 
at all, even after eating, which I really, really love. Yes, I just can't get over how much I adore the texture of this, how much I adore the color. I really, really want to add a couple more colors from this range into my collection. I'm thinking about adding a nice nude in because nude is something I'll reach for every day as well. So guys, that's it for my September and October favorites. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope you guys saw something that you really liked. Drop me a little comment down below and tell me which product you thought was the most intriguing. If you enjoyed this video, let me know if I should continue filming my favorites or if I should rather go back to the old blog post written out reviews. Let me know if you prefer that. I've had so much fun filming them. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.